Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. This is Operation Bone Knife. We're rescuing stranded resistance agents. Uh, Juhani, or Juhani, Leitinen. Assault Infantry. Our, <laughs> our favorite class that isn't cursed at all. Uh, resistance Rumor, 21 Intel. And the start of delaying a dark event, the Hidden One. Uh, which actually is, <laughs> I guess, probably the preferred one. Because the others I don't care about too much. Uh, we're taking out... Tyrant, Warmaster, Variable, Izzy, Mrs. Treason, and Words. This might be an overkill group. Uh, it says it's just a horde sit rep. Only large amounts of lost here. I'm hoping that's actually the case. I would I would enjoy that very much. And I don't I have so many empty slots here. There's not a lot I can do. I could bring rockets, but it's like we're dealing with lost. We're taking the shadow keeper, the rail pistols here. Uh, I do have an arc thrower on words i suppose i should switch this as well and uh let's rock and roll shall we i think this is our 20th episode which is crazy uh you guys have shown a lot of love in this series and i i really appreciate it uh hopefully you're in it for the long haul because we got a long way to go today's log comes from the god Bwad, who writes for dev inspector hughes remember him I'd like to think that for my first actual combat experience in my life, I did very well. I only had two kills and didn't hit all my shots. I did help out a lot. Luckily with hell from the other field medic. Or uh, with help from the other field medic. Whose name I didn't catch. Uh, they all stayed alive. I'm nervous to see what will happen next. And if I'll have to be the one who was to watch them die on the field of battle. Only one way to find out. Spectre out. Did not age very well, Spectre. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, okay. I, I'm feeling like, well, this shouldn't be a huge problem. It's just lost. That's how I'm feeling at this exact moment. The but we've seen a lot of times where that trap not far from your position and the VIP is using a remote turret to hold off the lost. Oh yeah, we okay. Have one clear access point to the area. So get to the target's location and escort Oh them yeah, to right. We also have this other guy overrun with lost. Don't bother trying to outgun them. After you secure the That's right. We need to do more of a smash and grab here. Point for extraction. Don't get overrun. Keep the path back to Firebrand clear. Variable with her. Just absolutely massive, massive mobility. Very impressive. We've got that subsonic blind side. Okay, that's, that's a good... I think that's a pretty... I'm pretty happy with that scout, to be honest. Uh, let's bring Kincaid in here. He'll set up an automatic brace. Not that it really matters, but... And then these guys are a little bit more likely to actually cause some, some trouble. These guys are quite low, so I think we just engage. And by quite low, I mean weak. Oh, I, is that the helmet that I think it is? I know the cutscenes show differently, but... Okay, that's a great start. Great job, Warmaster. That's... that's... Exceptional. It's only uphill from here. There you go, Words. There you go, buddy. I feel like... I feel like Words is underappreciated. By, like, myself and others. I don't know what it is. Let's see if he can prove himself here. A little too much pressure. Little too much pressure. Understandable. Uh, cover doesn't really matter. 67. There you go, baby. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Treason has the... The scatter gun. It's like, this is not great, but that's fine. Now, because of where she's at, uh, promotions-wise, we're carrying a whole bunch of grenades now. And I love it. 
we're activating here. So that's the team uh, Creative Xenos logo. And I think, I don't know, they might have changed it. Oh my god, she landed it. Uh, there's a little odd logo on the red helmets, I believe. I don't know if that's been changed, but at one point they had it in there and I thought that was pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Okay, let's make sure I understand this again. Subsonic shot disorients target only deals 50% damage or 75 on crits. If concealed, the shot will not break concealment, though uh, it will break squad concealment. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it's two to three damage, so like this could work. Beautiful. Okay. Happy to have that. Uh, Tyrant. I'm dealing five damage here. Oh my god! Tyrant better stick to that sniper rifle, dude. We better stick to that sniper rifle. Wow. 94. It happens, I guess. There you go, buddy. Let's string them together now. There you go. Love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, can I see two of them from any of these positions? Uh, I'm going. I should have maybe just kept Daniil, um... Which you can't even see anything. I should have just kept Daniil in, like, moving, I think. Good shot, man. Well, they're coming in. Not much I can do about it. I hope we get the shot on this guy. There it is. Hopefully that cigarette's still lit. The lucky sig. You know what? I don't think he's going to be able to get close enough. Oh. Poor guy. Let's move forward here. We're going to have to make a big dash with Daniil. And have these other guys fight, I think. We're on the high ground, so I like this. I do need five damage. I do need five. Uh, what's detecting me here? Oh, this guy. I'm going to go high ground as... Uh, you know what? She's blocking this now for the others. She is blocking this for the others. We'll take this 82. There we go. Beautiful. And then I'll probably just move out of the way a bit. I don't know if anybody can even... Yeah, nobody else can even get up there right now. It is clear. Tyrant whiffed a shot. Can you believe it? Now, we do have snapshot. Where is it here? Um, I don't know if it's called snapshot. Yeah, quick hands. So this gives us the auto brace and we can use a regular shot with one action remaining. But snapshots don't get any bonuses from precision targeting and you can't crit. But in this scenario, I'm fine with it. God, that's a good looking gun. Yeah, that's very nice. Oh my god. I'm always like, I'm shocked you miss an 85. It's like, what? That's impossible. Hello? There we go. I'm gonna move in Danil there. We're gonna move her even further afterwards. Here I got eyes on three. All right, I'll go. 69. Nice. Nice, nice. Double nice. Who's keeping score? 69 again. My ammo's running low. Lucky One number, thousand. I guess. Thousands to we're go. green to go. And then uh, words. We're green to go. Guess we're reloading here. Sure thing. Tyrant, drop an Overwatch. 
And... I think I'm gonna... Hmm. I'll sneak over to this side. This maybe would be better, but... E. We got a howler behind us. Okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it, but I know what he, I know what everyone's thinking right now. This is, is this the beginning of the end for Tyrant? Maybe he just doesn't like Lost. That's possible. Maybe he just isn't a fan of zombies. And when they look like that, how can you blame them? Well, Pennywise. I know this triggers some people. Afraid of clowns and stuff. Totally understandable. They're almost out of ammo for the turret, Commander. We have to get moving. Yes, I'm aware. All right, Tyrant, up top, where you're unstoppable. I maybe should have put you here to see this howler. Let's see if we get guys with a higher range here. There we go. Let's go. There you go. Now, uh, we don't have the free reloads, but also isn't necessary. Who's keeping score? How many is that now? Let's rock. Ordini confermati. Mi muovo. Treason. We need a reload. We can increase our weapon range chance. Actually, we can just go up top. Not a problem. 95. There we go. We get both benefits. Uh, hold on. Just reloaded Izzy, right? Let's go What's here. Over? Okay, so what's going to be tough here is having to do this whole run back thing. Because now they're going to be throwing them at us. Okay, that's actually a horrible spot. Is actually a pretty bad scenario, which is awesome. Okay, this is Slade. Okay, there's only one dasher that I see. Oh, there's one up top. So these guys could definitely hit, but I think they'll be okay. Get going. We're definitely going to take some damage here. What I should have done is, like, spread these guys a little bit more to be a little closer to that objective. It's been a long time since we've done this mission. Wow. Okay, they're not actually all going for us because we're concealed. That's right. Okay, cool. Don't know where you came from. So we're going to be revealed now, which is going to pro provoke some problems. But going in there concealed actually worked out nice. Good shot, Treason. Dang, she's had a couple of those low percentage shotgun blasts from downtown. Firebrand is in position. Get back to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. We're picking up more heat signatures than the sensors can keep up with. Okay. Danil. It's go time. Now, what's interesting is we have these two that are over here um, that we can't see with this group.
and which means we're relying solely on overwatches here but uh things could be worse we do have the super speedy daniel that willpower is getting pretty low she was low coming into this though all right so I'm going to come in closer with Treason. Absolutely. And then these guys are going to take some reloads. Is it clear? We'll provide some, some overwatching coverage here. I might even throw a defensive mine just to be safe. This is obviously going to cause the loss to want to come at us a little bit faster if they hit this, but this is just an insurance policy. I think I just want to overwatch naturally here. Well, there's, okay, so we're just going to get swarms every time. But I think if we, if we do make an explosion... It's not going to prompt a swarm. It's just going to take us a, a step towards a naturally occurring one. I think. Could be wrong. Oh my god. Treason. Unreal. Treason's Overwatch shot that shotgun. You're just impressive. Words, too. Okay, good job, guys. Okay. Very, very, very nice. Uh, Slade. Let's go. Danil. Let's go. I'm even gonna... I'm gonna go with Treason. Full move here. And then this group will do some overwatching. These guys are dangerously close to that explosive, but I don't know if they're going to trigger it. There you go, buddy. Tracer rounds and smoke grenades dropped here, but I think because we're evacing, I don't think we're going to get those. Oh, there it is. Oh, it does just... Okay, cool. Okay. So any explosion prompts the swarm to just come at us. Well, that's intimidating. <laughs> I kind of like these missions. It's a nice change. Kind of like having like those random ambush missions sometimes. Like I don't like those, but you know. Hey, can treason make this? No, but treason can make it far enough. Uh, words, same thing. Tyrant. Whoa, scared the hell out of me. Tyrant, go. Warmaster, go. And Izzy, go. So we'll send who we can. You know what would be a neat, uh, a neat uh, sit rep is something to do with like, I don't know what you would call it, but like maybe uniform extraction or single rope extraction or something like that, whereby you can. It, it wouldn't be a huge thing, I don't think, but you can only evac once. You know, and what I mean by that is like everyone has to be in the square to evac and there are some missions where that would make an impact uh mostly not but it could be like a subtle little thing it might be kind of cool vip secure and in position for evac we've extracted the vip's escort once we get him patched up he should be ready to rejoin the flight Fire oh my god the vip safely on board the sky ranger that's so cool the way that they move they nailed that 
I have like a love-hate relationship with the Lost. Where like, in theory, they're great. <laughs> but then like, this kind of stuff is it's, where there's just a billion of them. But like mixing them in with uh, with Advent and everything is is kind of cool. Venice one five, keep pushing towards the evac point. No matter what you do, you're never gonna make a dent in the lost. There's just too many coming in. We'll take whatever kills we can here. Might as well. Bring him on. She's going to get the Wang Tang destruction and she'll probably get that evac award. Like the kills on the evac. Okay, you can go. Nice shot, nice shot. Pristine poster. Got no ammo. Back in. I should actually just use the grenade Back there. Okay, that was pretty good. Daniil's speed is otherworldly. Otherworldly. Nice job, everybody. Most high solo slayer and kill stealer for Tyrant. He did miss two out of his uh, eight shots. Yikes. Uh, War Master, four on seven for 19 damage. Variable, sneakiest for sure. Hit one shot, that's all she needed. Spongler, four out of five for 19, not bad, kid. Treason, crush. These Overwatches were insane. Parting Gift and Wang Tang, Destroyo. Overqualified and most exposed. And the words, 37 damage, seven out of eight shots hit. And then our newest grab here, Leitonen. Just made it. Just survived. Got carried, literally. Got carried, literally. According to Advent officials, recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have now, been little to slow the progress. If we're not in a good scenario to deal with the second assault in this chain for the dark event, uh, we won't do it. But... The reason we wanted to do this one is because we got the uh, the rescued soldier, and uh, that's the main thing. <laughs> that's the main thing. So, seventy-seven point two seven average enemies killed per turn four. Wow, uh, yeah, the lost always mess with stats a little bit. Okay. Looks so cool. Of a curve for our new okay. So we have some people that are job. tired. The lower will, that's to be expected, but other people are available. Samuel Slade, welcome. A Salt Infantry, Leighton in. No Alright. Juhani or Juhani Leighton in. Nice beard as well. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you look like an assault infantry with better pants. What are we going to do here? Now, uh, there was a comment that came up with a cool kind of um, idea for prep for entry where you use a uh, run and gun, and then you do like a prep for entry on the door so it doesn't cost an action. And then uh, you could still do like a shot or an attack. And if you do breakthrough, um, then you could still run away further. So like, it is kind of, it is kind of a cool idea. Uh, you can also, I suppose, run and gun to get in close, right? Prep for entry, throw a grenade, and then it's free. And then also follow up with just a regular shot from where you are. It's not bad. Let, let's, let's experiment with it. Gain one partial movement action point refunded after turning the attack on a stunned or disoriented target. Now, this would combo here with flashbangs, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to take this, Deep Reserves, to reduce the cooldown of Run and Gun. And he's not going to have the sword benefits that the other Assault Infantry had. 
but I'm okay with it. We're gonna just experiment a little bit here. Okay, Leda, welcome from Finland. Uh, Leda hails from Javaskila, Javaskila, Finland. He's born in a nomad kind of family who lived in a motorhome and roamed around the Nordic countries. So his home is on the road, so to speak. He's an adequate mechanic and knows his way around motorized vehicles. He has sometimes been heard to say motors are easier than people. They don't whine or babble all the time. If there's something wrong with them, just pick up a hammer and screwdriver and just fix them. Spoiler alert, that can work for people too. Uh, before the invasion, after his parents passed away, the only family he had were his brothers and sisters and Iron Core MC whose colors he carries proudly as a full member, even though he hasn't seen any of them for years. Oh yeah, I could tell he was a biker. After the invasion, he returned to his nomad roots and drove off with his 94 Harley Davidson Dyna called Baby. Now, if this was an Indian, I'd be much happier, but it's fine. Motorcycles were good. Ever since he has driven through the countryside, avoiding, avoiding alien troops. Only encounters he, is, he has with them are because of needs of the baby, like spare parts, gasoline and such. Love it. He doesn't care about anything else. Uh, anything else other than himself and the baby. Besides that, he doesn't do anything if he can't gain something from it. He was taken to the Avenger against his own will when he was acquiring a new carburetor. I don't know if that's how it's spelled, but I'll believe you for baby. The resistance group attacked the garage that the aliens were using as a base for a small attack group, and he was caught in a crossfire. After questioning, Central told him, an idea that saving Earth would benefit him too eventually, so he agreed to assist in the Avenger crew for now. He doesn't speak much if not included random grunts here and there. Uh, on the Avenger, he spends his free time tinkering or resting beside Baby on the fight deck. That's cool. I like that. I don't think we've had like a, a, a biker before, and you definitely fit the bill looks-wise too, so awesome. The backstory kind of conflicts with the way that we found you, but you know what? That's fine. That's totally fine. Who do I have available right now? Uh, Tyrant, Treason, Leda, Izzy. <laughs> five, five people. All right, sweet. Commander, many of our soldiers can improve the strength of their bonds. Spawns learn words. You know what? Train. Actually, yeah, you're a marine. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys can have this. Izzy and words, rough riders. Love that. That's a Saskatchewan football team reference. Okay, reducing contact cost could actually be very nice. Um, could actually be very nice. We're trying to make contact here. Setting course for the so that our other contacts are made safe. immediately. I don't know if I can afford to do that one. We'll see. Debris is going to hit. Oh, here's the other one now. Mace is back. Okay, what's here now? Resistance rumor, intel, delay dark event. Oh, this is actually the first of countering this dark event. Now, hold on a second. We do get an increased mission timer. Extra reinforcements, hunter. Um, midnight raids, cost of recruits. You know what? I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. It's the same one. Yeah. Okay. Check this out. We can build stuff here. Um, I'm going to staff an engineer for now. Luciana. It's 23 power right now. So I'm thinking we go resistance ring. I think we go resistance ring. Uh, we will need the proving ground for the skull jack. So that'll probably come after we start the uh, workshop in that middle area. And we'll need another power relay. I think for now, we're going to get this going. And let's move Lyra out to handle that. I need to keep Day in the infirmary until we get gremlins going. Um, we're pretty close to being able to, to buy a workshop here. Um, we will get some income from clearing this, but I mean, this is forever away right now. But anyways, we have the, we have the resistance ring happening now. 
So this is great. Plated armor actually in 20 hours, which is super cool. All right, here it is. So advent reinforcements are delayed. Large number of advent troopers. Uh, shoddy intel. This is actually nice. I only just realized this now. Seven ready and seven tired. Um, hmm. <laughs> it's a hidden event, right? So here's here's the here's the tough part. I could spend the intel to reveal it, and then decide if we need it or not. We only need 80 for this, so we would still be able to do it. But if I spend this and I don't take the mission, then it's kind of wasted. But in a way, it's like it gives us it gives our people time to recover. Adding armor to some of their soldiers. You know what? I'm fine with it, I think. I think we're going to give our guys time to chill. I don't think I'm going to take this. We're not getting any other rewards other than countering this. And there's a decent chance the hunter could show lower timers with more advent. Means it's going to be tougher until we trigger that hunter and freeze it. But yeah. So I don't know. I think I think we just let it go. Honestly. Another important step forward in our research. Commander. We so this is nice. We still have the recovered alien test subject in storage. I can begin an autopsy at any time. I should have checked it what that advent disguise was. Breakthroughs in our own research and scientific development. Predator armor. Spider suits in the proving ground. Exos. Huh. Additional comm station construction. Pathfinder autopsies instant. We received a prototype plated armor. Okay. Might as well do this. Ultralight vests and some scanner and toxin research. Pathfinders are often seen operating where Advent suspects resistance members conduct their operations. They're relentless in pursuing those that attempt to escape from Advent. Although at first glance, one would expect them to be identical to Advent troopers, we've now discovered they're significantly different from troopers. Their thick armor plates conceal a more lopsided approach to their anatomy. Their leg muscles are far more developed than the muscles in their upper body, giving them that extra mobility. Furthermore, they have far more efficient cardiovascular and respiratory system compared to troopers. All signs of this creature being built for the single purpose of relentlessly chasing and capturing those that attempt to escape from Advent's clutches. However, a particular interest to Engineer Shen and our troopers is the underlining that these Pathfinders wear under their thick plate armor, an ultralight vest that grants the same amount of protection as our standard vest and yet is almost weightless and flexible like cloth. No doubt this too contributes to the Pathfinder's superior mobility. I love that. So this would give us that extra mobility as well. Probably not any additional protection. Uh, we could get intel here. Reducing the cost of an additional comm station upgrade for our resistance comms by 50%. I'm pretty sure this is only the, like, the upgrade to the facility. Right? Yeah. So I don't know if I need that. Facility lead in two days. Um, so I think we have to have this to make it... We have to research this to make it an, uh, an actionable lead. But also, if we build that, um, that comms thing out there, then I don't even know if we need that. I'll have to recheck that. I could grab this intel now, since it's inspired. A quick five days. And then we get into the mech breakdown. Which, <laughs> when I looked at this before, I was like, oh man, I guess I missed this. But we, we actually didn't have a mech, so... That's fine. And that would get us then into Gauss weapons. A 
Let's do this for some quick intel. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. If this is what it takes to draw you out of hiding, Commander, then the elders are more than willing to keep up the pressure. Okay, nice. Made contact. Eve got promoted in the GTS. Now, I did I did think of something after the episode where I put him in there. Because he was already a squatty, I believe, and we're just training him up one. That did take an active person out of my roster, and that was probably risky. It's probably a risk I didn't need to make. Oh my god. I eagerly await your arrival, Commander. Okay, now he's he's pretty far away. Hunt the Chosen Warlock. We are hunting the Hunter. Uh, I have 11 people ready. Is there anything I would want in here? This is actually... Okay, hear me out. If we get enough uh, slots in the um, Resistance Center or what have you, this actually would be kind of nice. There is a moderate chance at an ambush that I could avoid. Because what's nice about this with the upgrades to the GTS, not only am I hiring rookies for 15 supplies, but I'm hiring, like, corporals, I think. Which is kind of insane. There is this promotion here, but again, I have to put, like, one of my best in there. If I was going to do it, this would be the time. And it would have to be, like... It would have to be Tyrant. Let's say I put him in here. Nine days. Right? Let's just get him over here. With no additional weapons. Um, nine days, 13 hours. Here's our prototype plated, so three extra health. This would reduce our infiltration hours. And then I could send in, like, is anybody really close here? Libby's, <laughs> Ugh. Libby's very close. So in, in essence, we'd be getting, uh, We'd be getting two promotions here. Oh, this actually decreases infiltration hours by three. That's nice. That is nice. Wait, what was your what was this ability? Antique flash powder. The relic is louder, more powerful than modern pistols. Smoke and flash me for good distraction. The larger projectiles don't suffer penalties against armor, like most other pistols. The Shadowkeeper cannot benefit from equipped ammo items. Okay, fair enough. The challenge here is. What other field medics do I have right now? These guys are infiltrating. But if something happened here, I wouldn't have her available. I don't know. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to run it. They will not be available on promotion or on a on the next mission. Minor chance at wounded. That's okay. These are two nice promotions to have. I'm doing it. We're going to have to make do. We're going to have to make do. Okay, so this is good. Now, contact here can happen instantly. And what's this? Mental fortitude. Oh, yeah, they only last one turn. So, 80 intel. Boom.
Like, they're so, like, open to it. New regional contacts located. Oh, that's great. If you would seek a fight with me, I to match my skill. Okay, so she's in Asia. And now we have Hunt the, uh, Hunt the Assassin. I might actually start prioritizing these hunts. I might just try and, like, get it done. Here's the other thing. If we do need to abort an action... It costs intel, so having a little bit in our back pocket, kind of nice. Infiltration coming in very short time frame here. So now let's say if I wanted to do this. Okay, yeah, so it's either or. We must find an actionable lead or build a radio relay in this region before we can assault and destroy this facility. So, um, hold on here. Ready and tired, yeah. So I think we're going to go for this. We're going to start building a relay here. Setting course for the Arctic. So that we have just a natural place to attack without even needing an actionable lead. Our contacts are going to be maxed, which I'm fine with. We're force level six, six space on the crew right now. And boom, people are ready to, to rumble. So this one, we're going to ignore. Fine. Uh, raid Supply Convoy. If we want to hit an Advent Supply Convoy, we're going to need to draw away Advent forces in the area. Attacking a highly visible target should do it. Messy Insertion. What is this? One soldier would be 25% injured. The squad begins the mission 20% tired. Oh, wow. Increase region income by six. See, like, no, <laughs> I don't. There's no, there's no reason for me to be doing that. I don't think anyway. This is to get another engineer, which would be very helpful considering we just staffed one. Um, I have to assume now the hunter's definitely going to show up. Protection radius, crit. So if we're going to do this, really, we're, we're committing to going to 150, right? We really are. But I, I think what we'll do is wait to see what, what prompts us there. Like what it uh, turns out to be. Okay, so that's going to expire. Uh, this is going to hit at 125, so right away. Sabotage the transmitter. Fine by me. Okay. Alloy padding is on. And reflex actions. So that's cool. That totally won't backfire. Okay, so here's our bonus that we've gained. What's the next one? Delay reinforcements. I don't know. Okay, so the other benefit here is over-infiltrating will modify the chance of a chosen intervention. It's not going to show us what that is, but the hidden base chance is lowest if chosen was encountered recently. Now, they're always recent, but what this means is if you encounter it basically on your last mission, it's not going to show up, right? Two missions ago, a little bit more likely. Three, a little bit more likely. So in that situation, it might be better to go. But I actually think we just take this and we and we roll with it to get our squad back. We've got Raid, Peppa Bear, Odd, Short Fuse, Ace, and Ostergaard. Scattergun, K-15, Scattergun, K-15, Light Machine Gun, and Mag Rifle. So we have some decent upgrades here. We've got a lot of skills. What are we carrying here? Frag Grenade, Med Kit, Kevlar, Frag Grenade, Tracer, Med Kit, Nanoscale, Short Fuse, Carrying Frost Bomb, Nanoscale, Frag, Nanoscale, yeah, okay. Now, um, before we do this, not that it's going to matter for this mission. 
Let's just do our promotion here on Jenkins. Heat sink. Yep, cool. So this works by shooting. You build up the heat sink and then you get bonuses on your uh, rip jack. 7.5% crit chance for every level of heat. One damage for every two levels of heat. And then you get some extra bonuses going on here. We got the grapple. Uh, at three, we get justice where we can pull an enemy. And then at six, we get wrath where we can go to an enemy delivering a rip jack strike. So yeah, what do we want to grab next though? Regenerating armor is kind of cool. Ooh, that's neat. And all advent troops within eight tiles of the skirmisher suffer stat penalties and have a 40% chance to panic when the skirmisher delivers a crit hit from the ripjack, which should be pretty decent if you're shooting, 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 going with the ripjack. Um, skirmisher, you get a mobility at the end of each turn, 2.5 chance per tile move to convert standard hits into grazes. Uh... Automatically fire back with your bullpup when targeted. I mean, that's not bad either. What's his health? Seven? I actually think that him having this regenerating armor might be the way to go just based on where he stands currently. Hello, Commander. And then building items here. Do we want to bring... Or do we want to be buying any of these? Not right now, because we'll wait for a mission. Here's the Advent Disguise. Data gleaned from Advent's neural implants allows us to pass soldiers off as Advent Troopers. Surveillance systems will be utterly fooled thanks to the neural transponder, but actual enemies may be less convinced. So this is probably a further reduction. Like, this would be a boost to the Civilian Disguise. It now needs Trooper Corpses, Supplies, and Alloys. I did sell some trooper corpses, but we have like 15 left over at a minimum, plus the extras that we'll pick up. Predator armor. This is a big jump for us. 33 supplies and 5 alloys, so we could build up to 4 of those right now. Templar skirmisher reaper armor. A little bit more costly, slightly more alloys. And then the ultralight. Holy smokes. So this needs... What? Nanoscale is only 15 supplies. This is 50 supplies, 15 alloys, 5 Illyrium crystals, and Pathfinder corpses. I would like to see what the actual stats are on here. Because it's obviously a, an increase to mobility, right? So is it plus 2 mobility or the plus 5 mobility? I don't know. I'm going to have to maybe look that up. Okay. So anyways, I think we're ready to go. I'm feeling pretty good about what's going on in our... In our base at the moment we have people available if something bad happens uh but i would like to once we get that um resistance ring up and running start putting some of the cards in there and if we can work towards getting those cheap recruits and then just constantly training in the gts then keep our crew level kind of max i think would be really really good Additional resistance orders and covert actions. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Combat preparedness, ability points, and then the promotions here. Oh, yeah, wait. I didn't even send this one. <laughs> I didn't send it. This means that we're definitely going to get ambushed, right? How long do I have on my... Uh, data pad decryption 28 hours I wonder if that would be worth negating the ambush I think it probably would be so that's what I'm going to do okay so we're going to stop here um, I will take on this mission for this engineer hopefully maybe encounter the hunter and then we're going to finish our intel scan here then I'll go into the covert op to do this resistance order and negate the ambush with 25 intel. And uh, then we'll just keep on trucking. Once this is done, we'll probably assault the uh, facility. It's only two pips, but... I mean, it's two pips. It's two pips less than what I got going on right now. So... The other thing we're going to need to do is get that proving ground going because I'm going to need to skulljack. And then when I do that, that'll reduce some of the avatar project. Uh, so that's going to have to be, like, 
one of the next things that we build. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep figuring out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you had a good one and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.